Okay, I thought I would answer one of the questions from the students uh, that I got, which was how to find statutes. So I thought that was a great question because in previous versions of Westlaw, there were all kinds of crazy ways to do it. Um, so let's see how to do it in Westlaw next. Um, the chapter mentioned several things to think about with regards to a statute. The citation, which can range, you know, California Civil Code, whatever, um, or the name of the set of statutes, which is an act. Um, so lots of times you have statutes that are named, that the, the complete set of statutes actually has a name. So um, that's those are two things. So I'm not, in this little video, I'm not talking about how to find which statute applies to a particular situation, but rather you already know the statute and you're trying to pull it up on Westlaw. So um, I thought I would go uh, show you the various things. So right off the bat, this is the entrance page of Westlaw. So I'm going to put in a citation that I'm familiar with, uh, which is Civil Code 1790. So I know that number. I'm trying to see what it says. So I just put in Civil Code 1790 and I go to the left and look for the statutes, click on that and I have it right here. So I can pull this up. So now I have the actual statute um, and there you have it. So this is a statute that gives me the name of this particular set of statutes. This is the very first statute in that set. So I'm going to go back again. Okay, so I'm actually going to say, imagine. I didn't know 1790, but I do know the Song Beverly Consumer Warranty Act. So I'm going to just plug it in and see what I get. I go back to statutes and I see the start of those statutes, 1793, and look, it begins with 1790. So I'll start with that again, and I can continue on. There is a table of contents, so I can start getting familiar with that set of statutes. Another possibility, of course, is uh, the citing references, context and analysis as well. So I can look at encyclopedias, since those are going to be so very helpful to me. And I can find something that will tell me about this Song Beverly Act. Uh, hopefully, theoretically. I'm not really impressed with what I've seen here. So I can also have cite references. Citing references might tell me about this act. And I've got more statutes, secondary sources again. Let's see if we can find one about. And I see ALR, law reviews, Westlaw journals, and other. And in this is the other, I clicked on that. And if I go down, I can find something that I like, which is uh, the Witkin, and it'll for an article that tells me about this song, Beverly Act, and it looks like right here. So I can learn a little bit about this Consumer Warranty Act. So it does direct me there, and that's the one we were talking about, the Consumer Warranty Act, uh, the Lemon Law. So if your car is a disaster, you can um, exchange it, and so forth. So so there you have it. That's uh, a little way to find statutes. Um, another way to find statutes is actually going into the code book itself. So right here I'm going to go into statutes and court rules. I go into my state and I have all the statutes that I could possibly want and more. So here's the civil code. I click on that and that is divided on all 
according to the chapters. So it'll go through the whole thing, um, and I can find whatever it is I need uh, by hand. In other words, just looking at the table of contents and uh, getting to where I need. I can also search this, search all content, and I can do a search. If you'll notice very lightly, it says search civil code. So I can try the Beverly, the song Beverly Act again. Let's see if it pulls up here. Uh, yes, it does. So I can do it and it'll pull it up within the statute. And we're back to 1790 again. So that'll start me on my way of trying to learn about this particular set of statutes, the Lemon Law. And let's see if there's any other things. I think that covers it on how to find statutes by name or citation. Thank you very much.